Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a super quick and easy tutorial on how I achieve this look. It's kind of my everyday makeup when I don't do like a full face for work or when I'm going out somewhere. Super quick and easy if you're in a rush too. This is usually what I do when I like wake up really, really late. So if you want to go ahead and see how I achieve this look, go ahead and keep on watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So first things first, I'm gonna start off with my Cover FX Mattifying Primer, and I'm gonna go ahead and just put that all over the face. You honestly don't need too much of this. You just need a little bit. A little bit will go a long way. But I mainly concentrate it like on the area where I get the most oil. I usually let that sit for like a good five minutes so it just like sinks into the skin. After that, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows first since I'm not going to be doing too much makeup. I'm using a couple different items, but first I'm going to just brush through my brows um, right now. I'm going to go ahead and take my brow definer and fill in a tiny bit, like where I have like sparse hairs. And then I'm going to go in with my brow pomade and kind of fill them in a little bit more. Make sure you're also brushing through with the spoolie, um, brushing the product through, because it'll look more natural. After that, I'm gonna take my dip brow, and this is the soft brown dip brow by Anastasia and an angled brush. Don't mind this one, it's disgusting, but. After that, I'll take my clear brow gel by Anastasia as well, and I will just brush through those. Then I'll go ahead and carve them out with a little bit of shape tape and an angled brush just so they look a little bit more defined. So I'll just take it on the brow bone and kind of carve it out and conceal any like little imperfections. Brush the product through with my finger because I feel like that gives it a more natural look. So after I'm done with my eyebrows, I'm going to go ahead and take my Makeup Revolution color correcting palette. This right here is super, super nice. It's so creamy. All the colors that you need. So I'm going to go ahead and go in. Because I have a lot of redness, I go in with the green the most. And I just use my finger and then I kind of put it all over the areas that are super red. And I'm going to go ahead and take the peach color and I'm going to go ahead and correct right under my eyes for any dark circles. Using the Real Techniques Miracle Sponge today. It's such a nice one with my shape tape and this is in the shade in the shade fair. I'm going to take this all over. I go on my lid and then I'll go right under my eye. And I'm using way more than I usually do because I'm going to not use as much foundation as I usually do like on an everyday. I take my time blending this out because it's so thick. You don't want it to look super like chunky on your skin. Or get cakey. Finish with a shape tape. I go in with a little bit of eyeshadow to just kind of define my eyes. And today I'm gonna be using the Laura Lee Los Angeles palette. I'm just gonna go ahead and use these two colors here, Bomb Diggity and Crybaby, to just kind of define my eye a little, my eyes a little bit. So I'm just gonna go in with my my Morphe 433. And I'm gonna just start with the lightest color and just go in circular motions, or sorry, windshield wiper motions. Obviously I went a little crazy with the eyeshadow, but that is okay. So after you're done with that, you wanna go ahead and take any foundation. I honestly take the lightest amount. I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, which is my favorite foundation. And this is in the color Shell Ivory, and I'm just gonna do a tiny, couple swipes on my face just to kind of make everything look a little bit more even and not as like yellow. I'm just gonna blend that out with my sponge. Keep blending out the foundation. Make sure it looks super seamless. I'm done with that. I'm gonna go ahead and take my cover effects, uh, my mattifying, or no, sorry, my translucent setting powder. And I'm just gonna take that with a like fluffy brush all over the face. I'm not even gonna bake or anything like that. I actually got these in my BoxyCharm. It was like a three-piece set. They're the Moda Pro, and this is the pointed blush set, but I use it for my press powder, or my press powders or my translucent powders. And I just go ahead and set it all over. I always make a mess. Always. Yeah. I don't even know the name, like literally rubbed off, but I remember it's by Crown because I got this in my BoxyCharm as well. 
and I've been really using my Pirates of the Caribbean cheek palette so much for my bronzer and my blush because these colors are so pretty together. I and contour really, really lightly. After I'm done with that, I'll take my Kala brush and this is just like a blush brush. I've had this forever. I got it at Marshall's, I think, for like $3. And I'll just take that color, Dusty Rose. And then I just take that on my cheekbone take my Ofer Cosmetics Rodeo Drive highlighter and a pure um, it's like a little it's a really nice highlight I'll go ahead and highlight my face I use so much highlight when I don't wear too much makeup because it just gives you the really nice glow and you can see how literally how pigmented this is I also like to take my artist couture highlighter these are so pigmented so this is in the color Illuminate it's such a pretty color corner highlight whatever it's called and then on my nose Then whatever I have I just kind of tap on my cheeks go ahead and take my Mascaras and today I'm gonna be using a combination of two. I'm gonna be using the elf Mascara I like it helps you get in all those small little Spots also sorry about the lighting. I think the Sun is going down so and use that all over my lashes on top and bottom it actually lets you like hold the one is this horizontal i don't even know and you get like right on your lower i go in with my lorac fiber my lorac pro fiber mascara this one makes them super long Just do a couple layers of this because it has the fibers and it kind of builds up your lashes and makes them look so long i'm obsessed with this mascara once you're done with that, all you're gonna do is take a little bit of lip gloss or even a matte lipstick. I got this small little TARDIS glossy lip paint in a little travel size kit from Old. It's in the color Avi. I love that this lip gloss is not sticky at all, like nothing. It doesn't feel tacky or sticky and it smells really good. Okay. So once you're done with that, you're basically done with your entire look. I'm gonna go do my hair real quick and then I will be back. So here's a close-up of the look. It's a super just natural, dewy finish. You can honestly wear this every single day and it takes about 10, 15 minutes to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any ideas for any other videos, make sure you comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. But I'll go ahead and see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.